Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Traveling with you, Corvo. Have you ever met my niece Callista? She's getting more you know beautiful next every time? year. Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these Her Majesty is waiting in the Corvo, you're back. Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hop. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Let's go! Come on! Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. there? Let's play one last time, please, Corvo. All right, then. Let's go see Mother. <laughs> Did you see any pirates? Later, will you give me more climbing lessons? Someday, I'm going to climb up to the rooftop. Take me with you on a trip one day, please. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. 
And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Follow me, Corvo. Should we get? She'll see you at once. Run with me. I'll be happier well, back with the watch. Really very I'm no diplomat. I think she missed you. Hello, my lord. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, your majesty. They're my They're... citizens. And we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, As please. you wish, your majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What Follow news me, have you Captain. brought? We should leave them. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before. Knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do, won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Take him. Chance, Corvo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. 
and someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corpho. Guards! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. People are coming to the ex- Fusion tomorrow. It's on account of Corvo. Burn this place to the ground. The her hey, daughter, Emily. kill a guard for me, will ya? You're out. Good for you. Right. Cut some so throats. The high and mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. They're as bad as us betting on the dogfights. Attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews, unless accompanied by an officer of the walk. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance. One week's notice. Corvo's unconscious again. Though he's taken more punishment than the two men we brought in for interrogation. When he wakes, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for her murder isn't critical. But it might be useful later. The assassination of an empress is not a trivial matter. Attention. Ackworth. Tomorrow, Lazy slug. Will be Did you patrol the yard? To the assigned to the event Not yet. I was gonna total. report that boiler leak from yesterday. Forget it. Just do your rounds. The report's trouble for both of us. I'm moving. Huh? Watch out! Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
Provo's execution is tomorrow. Right? Yeah, but attention to be set the up. The solitary today. wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. I really like Escort this. through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. did he kill on his way out of the prison? I guess if you'll kill the Empress, you don't... Got a few guards. Shut up! Look at this stuff. Somebody's been down there. Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Good. If we're lucky, one of them will get caught.
too far. I don't want to catch the plague, do you? No. Doesn't the elixir prevent it? Maybe. Either way, let's just dump them down there. The rats. Assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Several brave officers of the state are dead by his hand. He is to be captured or killed at any cost. Get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? I'll try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you bastard. It smells like a dead weeper in here. Stay alert. 
alert, you worms. He's not getting out this way on my watch. Hey! Uh, worms! Uh, 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 you in the river! said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business, half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Royalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. Even after six... We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear, all custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now, the tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Oil is unstable. When it explodes, there is a Terrible mess.
Academy it teaches that absurd idea that the energy of whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to work without it. Now plug it in. I speculate that a human being might. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic, and now, these forces will serve me. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. 
To help you find these runes, I give you this. The heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Attention Dunwall citizens, be advised, the river crust infestation has spread downriver, as far as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any item Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what... I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Good day, Master Corvo. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, We'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. 
Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the house. I do for you. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. to go. Just give the signal. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. There are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Damn it. Keep him in the boat. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. One, two, three, key! Huh?
Hey! What is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Attention, Dunwall citizens. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Any citizens are liable to search or imprisonment at the discretion of the city watch. Good. Keep them coming. Oh, fuck. Disgusting. Half the block dead from the plague. Better them than us. At least some of them have money. One, two, three, heave! Dr. Galvani's yeah. lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? That means you got <clears throat> I think so. <coughs> huh? On? What's it look like? Blow off, Hayburn. Go on. Toss the damn rat already. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs>
the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the it? What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. I have poor circulation and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so... I'd appreciate it if you could release me or I... <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily, so kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kernow, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. archive about the heretic's brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. The former member might be worth checking out. Get behind him! Someone's down. Where are you? Here you are!
To the it was Martin's plot to break him out of Cold Ridge Prison. That's clear enough. But why Corvo, the one man feared throughout the entire He's as bloody minded as they say, left the trail of bodies, and the way he dodged the axe, we can't rule out black magic. He had help, yes, but how far does it go? The trail goes to Martin, but Martin knows everyone, everywhere. is having trouble holding the side streets. Bunch of children playing games, that's all it is. Good. And your niece, Callista, isn't it? I'm very concerned about her. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The poor girl. Callista's a resourceful one. Probably found a safe place to hold up in all this case. Is my overseer
We know you're here. Oh, I'll find you. I won't be catching this rat bastard. Samuel. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Lock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I want to congratulate you. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll... Pr Here. I know you did this for the right reasons. But I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. Yes. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. 
If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journal. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. 
Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Anyone with information pertaining to the death of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. That him? Yeah, if you're looking for Slackjaw, he's in the distillery. Go on. Slackjaw's inside. I'll be waiting for you. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. The rest of us are one more. My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? 
See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dress like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galfani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat.
you think? I think he's dead, right? Swipe. Assassin, help! Cunning. We'll meet again. Look out. We got a prowler. for my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Slackjaw, it's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. You was right. There is someone once you did. Wants to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first, I did. That's why it taken me so long. I wanted to be sure, and what's that? Arden! No! No! Ah! So Kral is dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the Golden Cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat Brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. 
Maybe a little better. You think about... Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to his safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Dunwall citizens, due to criminal activity near Holger's... How does it... Cuter than What? No! 
are here. You're supposed to be on duty. Come on. You're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for hurt something. Oh, no. <laughs> I hear you there. Help. Finally. I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Connor? Just like last time, understand? Oh, 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 that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? Let's start with them. I've cheated. Robbed them of thousands. Stay focused, please. I can tell you love your work. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Ah! Ah! Retribution! Retribution! Ah, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Ah! We're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! I'll have you whipped, you bitch! Stop! You'll kill me! Guards! Can anyone hear me? Please! My heart won't take this! Ask me anything! I screwed the Pendletons, yes! And I've been to the Brimsleys! They worship the Outsider! I've seen it! I did it too! Right. They state that the conserv- What? No! Please! No, no, no! I need help!
Here you are. Guards! You're gonna bleed, Dad! Stay clear! that mask. Corvo? Corvo, it's you! You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and in the prison, dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. 
There's a special door to come and go, for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. Unlock it so we can get away from this place. This place. Come on. Come to dinner now. That's right, my sweet little... Uh, uh. Dunwall citizens, due to criminal activity near Holder Square. Ready to go back, Corvo? You made short work of things. Get in. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I a uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. 
I heard a lot of growing up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Where's Wallace? Wallace! You're promoted wherever you are. Head lucky. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive. He's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Nobody allowed to be just wandering about, except us guards. 
Yeah, I know, I know. But if we do see someone, then what? Do we say something? Remind them about curfew? No, you don't remind them. You chase them down, and you give them a severely deadly beating, is what? Okay, yeah, I got it. Severely deadly beating. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. tomorrow morning at sunrise. Curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right. And the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent of what? <laughs>
officer before coming on duty. Yeah, he came through early. He made us all touch the charger and left the police. Okay, good. We can't lose any more men to the arc pilot. Touch the charger. <laughs> to live past 20, so why be scared of anything?
elixir from today. I don't need shit from you. Hey, you with the mask and the hand tattoo. Listen, I ain't no criminal. I just collect river cross pearls. They chased me down and I had to hide. Like cat. Yeah, too bad we couldn't get <laughs> Just follow me. I'll show you the place. No one saw me drop it. You won't be sorry. We can split them right down the middle. I'll flush you while I'm out of that cell. Can't stay hidden forever. Got you now. Get around him. Take it. Time to blow a cloud. We got somebody about.
this city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. Sir, not, not thinking. I was just wondering if Sokolov is testing elixirs on people to cure the plague. Why is it?
I will find you. Don't make me call for oh, no. Hello? Come out. Okay, where are you? I know you're somewhere around here. Somewhere around here.
turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential, according to the latest celestial alignment. <laughs> anything to take. Thank you, whoever you are. He kept me in a cage, like an animal. The pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. There's been word of a ruckus. No details yet. Huh? Attention, all members of the city watch. A dangerous intruder has been spotted on Caldwell's Bridge, near the home of Anton Sokolov, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Any personnel in the area are ordered to take all measures to protect Sokolov. Watch out! Fire for me, but listen. 
Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Up on what used to be the third floor, you'll see a painting. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the code is 294. of the city watch. A dangerous intruder has been spotted on Caldwin's Bridge, near the home of Anton Sokolov, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Any personnel in the area are ordered to take all measures to protect Sokolov. position himself. He made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. They set up a cell for soaking off in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov, whose knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Corvo! Wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Calista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The Ascendancy Circle has chosen Teague Martin to be High Overseer. Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without delay. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. 
Just me this time. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so long. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. It's time to put him to the question. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No. Not that. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know! I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course. You already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for him. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink me? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly.
royal costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. Is that what you dreamed of, all those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the Executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party.
lost her voice right at the start. And that's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing, and they had one of their... you know. The music boxes. So she stopped singing as they passed, and, and they thought... They're going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we're so, yes. another of their eccentric fancies. I suppose invitation, no please. To play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. I can't let you in without an invitation. Strict home. order. I'll struggle on once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma and sit. Oh, they want my invitation. Maddie. Don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe anymore. I don't understand what's happened to this city. And die waiting out here. I'm sure. Invitation, please. You wait here as any gentleman would, and we'll go inside and make nasty remarks about Emma's style. Or lack of it. Well, we know I'm no gentleman. So you right this way, sir. Here. I feel sorry for her. She's only here to ask for a handout. She must be desperate. When have the Boyles ever given anything away? Maybe she hopes she'll win the game. Her life is so boring. I'd die without gossip. We'll probably die anyway, waiting for Emma. I'll drink Look at that mask. Another party Sick game. Bastard. It was fun for a season, but now? What is it tonight? Guess which is the Party's indoors this time. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. Please enjoy yourself. Inside. Cold night. Most sir. of the guests Warmer are inside. Indoors. Might be best if you join. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at on will. with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop. Stand right there. Three. Two. One. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. I hope you're not lost, sir. You'll find everything inside. <clears throat> Hello. The boils. Careful. 
We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a Marquis. Of course I don't mean you, but people... And the Boyles are awfully wealthy these days. Nonsense. Waverly just hires officers from the watch to investigate. Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Chances are very good. You, a gentleman? I'll have you. You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. What most people don't remember is, the rats came a half a year before the Empress died. And the plague, too. Are you sure? That's not how I remember it. If something caused this, it's not the Empress's... Excuse me. Come and entertain me. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in black tonight. In mourning for her reputation, I expect. Additionally, that he is in red. You seem interesting. I love that mark on the back of your hand. Smell like the streets. Been slumming it, have you? <laughs> Did you hear about Mrs. Brimsley? You'll oh, hello, I'm Ella. Enjoy the party, if you can. Lydia, Waverly, Esma, White, Black, Red. There has to be a clue upstairs as to who's who. Is Miss White leaving the party with you? Why don't you try paying her? is a gift from the Lord Regent, designed to keep his good friends safe. I doubt you qualify. Yes, sir, advised to limit their enjoyment to the ground floor. Evening, sir. Do cheer up. You should see this as enough. One sister's in red, one in white, one in black. I'm stumped. My wife thinks we should sneak upstairs to look for clues, I'm sure in but a few I don't like the looks of those guards. Funny. Please, do you mind not interrupting us? Ooh, I'm not mask. here for conversation. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. What is it? I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight, and how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Lydia. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. That's quite a mask. Are you on the guest list? Ooh, scary mask. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this ticket. Yes. A drink. Anything else? Save my life. From what? Are you ill? It's on their land. And that we can't make the rat lights without them. And we can't excuse me. You remember who's here, don't you? Shouldn't be here. 
No guests past this point. Things have become so much better for us since the rats came. Not that I'm in favor of it, morally. Get her on board. Last. Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. Scary mask. Put that away and leave. No, 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 no. My friend's gone. We found out oh, what the whales could are. do when it made us an end. Excuse me. were confined to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. Ridiculous. What sort of hygiene? I'm wondering if I should upgrade.
enjoying yourself. Ooh, scary mask. <coughs> You enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Hmm. Lord Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. I trust you enjoy. Hospitality. Lord Pendleton is anxious to see you. I think he is taking his morning refreshment. ...must report unexplained lights, odd sounds, and signs of conflict originating from evacuated buildings. Hello, love. The plague has all but stopped shipping, except for a few whaleboats. Miserable conditions right now, I'd imagine. Jason to Boyle Men remain off limits pending an ongoing investigation. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now, in Havelock's chambers above the bar.
Attention. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. They will be well provided for and serve the well-being of the community and the city. Ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. Ready when you are. Copper wiring is making all the difference, increasing the output by almost 50%. Yet, the whale oil still has too many impurities. I need to find a way to filter it myself if that idiot can't provide it. Better grade. Even the... Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything, practically. Ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. The 
this is it, Corvo. Your last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. Most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. He built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. He calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. Broadcast control station here where all them announcements come from. Might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Region will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. Attention Dunwall Tower personnel. All new assignments report directly to the duty officer.
have been reports of disturbances in the tower courtyard. We have men checking them. Double the guards! Triple them! Many times must I tell you. If only everyone would just do what needs to be done. Yes, Lord Regent. Since the rooftop is secure, you should stay in the safe room for now. My men and I will ensure no one gets up to you. Yes, you do that, General. Don't let the intruder get past you. I'm heading up to make sure the region is safe. Yes, General. No, no. Stupid gun. And this train needs to go to the torture. I mean, the royal interrogator. Oh no. Why do I have to take it? He's harmless, unless you're scheduled for execution or for questioning. He's so strange. Always working on something he can't see. You wasted a trip. My men are disciplined, and Dunwall Tower is the most fortified structure in the city. Guardsmen are on their way to intercept you now, so run or fight. Either way, you won't leave this place alive. <gasps> Corvo! You! You're the masked villain we've been searching for. You! Well, it doesn't matter. I can't believe you came back here. Tonight, we can tie up loose ends. This time, Corvo, you'll face your execution instead of slipping away. I'll see to it myself. Oh, what did the Empress see in you? Yes, of course. 
course. Within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold. What an impressive sight you make on your way to face the Lord Regent. How will you end his reign? By blood or by truth? He's not an easy man to get close to. If the Empress had been as well guarded, how different things would be now. Is it just revenge you're after, or do you have another plan in mind? Will you restore things? Make it all right again and crown a new empress? Or will you send them all howling into the void? Either way, I expect a good show.
comes back, I'll earn another promotion.
A citywide ban on whale oil is now in effect. Citizens are encouraged to bring any whale oil in their possession to the city watch at once. Anyone caught burning oil will be... Please, please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions would be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. His chambers can be reached by the balcony. If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city, to rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandician continent care of the poor for us. The plan worked perfectly at, at first, but the rats, oh, it was as if they sought to undo me. They hid from the catchers and what bred the same rate. I order you Soon it didn't your matter, weapons. rich, poor, all true. were falling sick. It's <laughs> The Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew they would come eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of her. I'll take power myself. She had to die, you see. Is it all done? You ready to go back to the Hound Pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Big changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But 
Maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Did he kill anybody tonight? How many? The Lord Regent is no longer in power. His corrupt and illegitimate regime has come to a close. That's it. The Lord Regent's done. Farewell to Hiram Burroughs, you scheming piece of shit. Now we can bend the law to pardon our past crimes, Corbin. We'll find Dow, the assassin the Lord Regent sent to butcher the Empress. Then you can have your revenge. We'll have to move fast to clean up his mess. The armed forces will do their job. Martin has control of the overseers. And you, Trevor, do whatever it is you do with Parker. That's Lord Trevor Pendleton to you. Without me, you'll never command the nobility. They'll tear you apart like a fish. Sorry, Corvo. We're nervous. Your work is done, and ours begins. The coronation will be an impromptu affair, but it still requires much preparation. Most of it we can handle. There is the matter of security. Emily will be vulnerable to whoever killed her mother. I doubt history will repeat itself, but you must be sharp and wary tomorrow. He's right. Rest. Restore yourself. Raid Piero's wares. Restock your ammo and make yourself ready. Just in case. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Caldwell, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The seven strictures? The litany and the white cliff? I... I'm tired of being no. afraid. I lack when the I'm qualifications, I'm overseer. going to make everyone else afraid uh, instead. Hi, Just overseer. like you do, Corvo. Perhaps you ought to send her to me. And soon. She is a spoiled child. Even if she's to be an empress. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job, then. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. Why I keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you. After all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Those are crimes of state. And maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye.
This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tilly and stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dowd. to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shovel blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man.
work here. Hard to say. But we should watch the streets. We'll see him from the rooftops. All right. If nothing else, you can cut him off at the market. He can't get it.
I have a job for you. What's the delay? I am gatebound, not riverbound. And now I have the key to the tunnel and is asked not to be disturbed. Is that it? Correct. This prisoner we took. The bodyguard who was with the Empress seems to trouble him gravely. Yes. I feel that we've reached a turning point tonight. Yes. Good luck on your assignment when you're permitted to leave. trial you must move unseen stay in shadow and avoid the light cross to the other side of the room without attracting notice May I not have a word? Your is not sir. He's killed men who have no equal in the aisle. I'm afraid he'll kill me too. You said this couldn't happen to us. I didn't think it could. I always thought one of you, the strongest of you, might be. your footsteps. Do you think you can hide from a hunter of men? Test yourselves against Kor. No two others could fight against the ticking of the clock. I've waited for this. Let's see if the outsider will save your life or mine. Another slice out of time, Corvo. Why are you fighting? The men you poison.
I have one more surprise for you. I asked for my life when I killed your empress and took her daughter. Something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand, the mark of the outsider himself. And I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing, so my life is in your hands. Make your choice. guards.
plague wagons running every couple of minutes now. We just...
please, no! Oh, it's you, Corvo. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. Havelock called us into the yard. But I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the attic. The Admiral brought his cutlass. He stuck Wallace through the eye with it. Then he did Lydia. Calissa he shot in the back with his pistol. Emily saw it all. Havelock kept yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia is the only one who ever showed me any kindness. Oh, you look at this mess. Relax. What are yeah. you that? Still trying to penetrate the workshop. Close up tight. We think Piero Joplin's inside. Crackpot, natural philosopher. There is evidence that Anton Sokolov was held here against his will for some time. Attention, Dunwall citizens. With sad hearts, the City Watch must announce the death of the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs. May his spirit fade from this world and suffer no more. Turn this building inside out. That goes without saying. There he is. You don't want him to Stay big. Corvo's the most dangerous man in the Empire now. He has nowhere else to go. the city get any worse? Indeed.
refreshing to converse with someone on my own. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the academy was a crime against natural philosophy. Conspiracy. Which Just a you might nasty have pointed world. out at the time. Oh, it's but it's pointless to, to hold it. And gun. even the great heroes' days I want are numbered in towns. About the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your head. I have no way to the homeopathic solution. And where am I to find the subject? Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Turn the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Astonishing! The Ark Pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power. Will you do the honors? This arc pylon is charged. No one will dare come near us. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned, I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. As to the good Admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high-minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton, though I suspect he was just lazy. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. Once you start ordering people killed to get your way, 
Everything else is mere detail. I return to my work now, and you to yours. Killing people, I mean. I sincerely hope it goes well. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that. I'll do what you want, but ask quickly. Goodbye, Corvo. I wish to apologize for what was done to you. It seems that holding all the pieces and standing a step from the throne changed something in the others. Something I don't understand. Don't underestimate Havelock, Corvo. He'll be waiting. This Piero of yours, a strange mind. But then my own is strange as well. If there is a cure to the plague, I believe we will find it. The old Empress would have liked that. She was a strange one. Stranger, I think, than you ever knew. But such things are past. And this new Empress, she's a strange one too. I wish you peace, Corvo, along with all the delights you can wring from the world. Admiral Farley Havelock, humbly accept the mantle of Lord Regent of the State of Crystal and all of its Imperial possessions. Notably...
At last. Time to leave this hovel for some place befitting my Find this. I'm devastated. The girl I've been caring for is gone. Emily is her name. Yes, that Emily. Daughter to the Empress. She's gone. They took her away in a boat this morning. I don't know where, and her hair hadn't been combed. I worry who will look after her. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We should start off soon. I've been feeling something in my bones, and if it's plague, well, I can't be counted on to drive this boat much longer. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. The island is a bloody mess. Looks like they fought. Maybe over Emily just after they landed. I'll bet the Admiral's got her locked up in the lighthouse somewhere. If Pendleton's lost the first round, he's probably dug in someplace. It's best to drink himself to death. I suspect it's Martin's got the lighthouse under siege. They turned on each other at last. So the Admiral's power mad, Martin's a snake, and Lord Pendleton is a coward. And you, Corvo, the things you've done, you could be the worst of us. I've seen a lot traveling with you. Now get off my boat. I'd wish you good luck, but I'd be lying. Out, Corvo. Let you go this once. I don't like what you've become. No better than these traitors. That's why I'm gonna tell them you're coming. Okay. 
Why don't you come down and settle this man to man? The view is nice up here. I'm not moving. Don't try to act brave, you worthless piece of infrared shit. Come and get me if you're so strong. Stupid blue blood. Let's see how you like this. Martin, you couldn't hit me if I was standing next to you. <laughs>
just see what happens if I get another crack at this guy. You're here. Say that, my lord. First my brothers, now me. It's my own fault. By the outsider! By the outsider! Corvo, I knew you would get here. <coughs> well, you're too late. I'm already dying without your help. A stray bullet. I'll never know whose. What could I offer you? You want money? Well, I'm broke. Women, maybe? Everyone knows you were screwing the Empress. You like noble women. You should meet my cousin Celia. <laughs>
like he just... Uh. Cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so. What's going on there? It's... Someone get over here! Can I find you? It's got you now! Die! Behind him! dead, aren't they? That's all right, because I was going to have them killed anyway. I am going to be Empress.
What will history tell us? That the daughter of a murdered empress ascended the throne up a mountain of corpses, carried by an assassin named Corvo? No. They'll say that little Emily Caldwin I came to power in an age of terror and corruption and that she did her best in a world that is not kind to little girls or empresses. Whether the stories told mention you by name or not, she will remember you were there, Corvo. Oh, long enough for all of the big and the small, where the taller they stand, where well, the heart they fall. We live for today, but we die for the next. With blood in our veins, in the air, in Dorchester, we step into war with our hearts on the line. The dirt on our boots is shakes free over time. Thereafter once we brought the disease 